and welcome back to RC Model Reviews, batteries. Talking about batteries today, uh, especially um, with a view to getting the most duration out of an electric model. And we've got two typical types we can use as LiPos. This is a LiPo, this is a 20 something, 2600 milliampere hour three cell LiPo. Now I have lithium ion. Now, traditionally we didn't use lithium ion. LiPos were basically the staple for RC model flying, but lithium ions are making a bit of a comeback. Um, this is the 18650 size, which means 18 millimeters in diameter, 650 millimeters, no, 65 millimeters in length, I think. I don't have to measure them anyway, you know what it means, but it's an 18650. These are the LG um, HG2 cells, which are quite good because they can handle 20 amps continuous of current. A lot of the cheaper, you know, the one hung low, trust fire, blow your house up brands from China, they, 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 they look great on paper, but when you put a load on them, the voltage collapses because they're not designed to deliver heavy currents. They're designed for much um, lower loads. So these are the ones you need to get. The decent ones, I think Panasonic make one, LG and Sanyo all make high current cells, which are great. And now with the rise in things like vaping, these are pretty readily available at a reasonable price. I forget what I paid for these, about $12, $11 New Zealand per cell, which is pretty good when you consider if you go and buy one of these 3S 2600 batteries. These days in New Zealand, it's about 50 bucks. Honestly, seriously, 50 bucks you could pay for a battery like that. Whereas this, $36 or $33, depending on whether you get it on special. So there you go. What I want to do though, just see, this is 3000 milliamps in terms of capacity. This is 2600, so it's close. Was it 26? Yeah, 26. So this is a little bit less than that. But let's see how they compare weight-wise, because, you know, weight is an important factor. So I've got the scales that do not show the blood. And let's throw something on here. How much does this LiPo weigh? It is 218 grams. For people in America, that's the equivalent of about, I don't know, um, three yards. Um, and let's put these on here. So we've got three cells, which gives us roughly, roughly the equivalent. And of course, a battery lead. Whoa, 151. That's quite a bit lighter, isn't it? And this is 3000 milliamps. This is only 2600. So you get a lot more power to weight ratio. But one thing to consider, which is quite important, is that these are 3.7 nominal, these are 3.8 nominal, these are, these are charged up to 4.2, but these actually have a much lower minimum operating voltage. What does it mean? Well, once this pack gets down to about 10 and a half volts, she's pretty much buggered flat. Not going to get much more energy out of it then. And in fact, once you get below about 11 volts, the, you know, you're, you're getting nearly empty. These cells will go down to 2.5 volts a cell, which means you can take a three cell pack down to seven and a half volts. And that means a lot of the operation, a lot of the capacity of this particular battery, if you make a battery out of these, a lot of the capacity of that is going to be at lower voltages, which means that although you've got 3000 milliamps, the number of watt hours, and that's the critical factor in terms of how long you can fly your model, the number of watt hours is, is not going to be as high as you might think. You know, so 90% of the capacity of this battery is at 11 volts and above, whereas there's probably only going to be about maybe 60, 70% of the power of this battery will be at 11 volts and above. So yeah, you're going to lose a little bit because of the reduced voltage. But I would say that even if these are the same, even that 3000 pack produces the same number of watt hours as this 2600 milliampere pack, look at the difference in weight, 150 versus 216 now, just depends on which way gravity's flowing. So it's a huge difference in weight. And of course, if you're looking for endurance, the less weight you're carrying, the less power you have to use, the longer you fly. So it all adds up. This, not just the extra capacity, but the lighter weight means that you will get more flight time with these batteries. What are the caveats? What are the restrictions? What, you, no free lunches are there. What are you gonna sacrifice for using a pack like this? Well, obviously this pack is rated at, what does it say? Um, 25C, 25C. So we could have 25 times 2600, which is, I don't know, I can't work that out. It's like a lot, a lot of amps. <laughs> 25 times the rate of things up is two. If it was 3000, about 75, you'd draw about 70 amps out of this pack, according to the specifications. 70 amps! This pack, you can only draw 20. You only draw 20 amps out of that. So you're not going to use this in a high performance, high power model in terms of speed and thrust and things, because you can't, if you draw too much current, then that battery will fail and it might even catch on fire, burn your house down. So you want to restrict your draw to 20 amps or less, which means in the case of um, a three cell pack, right out of the gate, it's going to be 30, 100 and, 
20 watts roughly 120 130 watts so it's not going to be able to power unless you use cells in parallel you're not going to power a lot of you know a lot of motor but if you're going for endurance if you're going for distance even you want uh, you won't need a lot of power you, you'll have a relatively underpowered craft because you want the economy the fuel efficiency rather than the raw you know sky breaking performance so it's horses for courses really you're going to decide what you want from your battery do you want a battery that's going to give you a, a huge amount of energy albeit at a lower voltage once it starts to discharge and on a lower perform or lower power motor or do you want something that you can burn up the sky with well those are your choices as I said though you can if you made a, made a, a six cell pack so there was three in series and then you put another cell in parallel with each of those making it a 3s2p pack then you could draw 40 amps out of it Ooh, but then it would be heavier uh, but it have more watt hours so, yeah it is uh, I'm going to do a comparison I have the Talon no not Talon gosh got that wrong didn't I the Rebel GT the Rebel GT so I'm going to make up a uh, a four cell 6000 milliamp pack we're using these lithium ion batteries and I'm going to use a four cell near enough to 6000 milliamp air pack for out, made out of lipos and we'll go and fly them we'll, we'll compare them we'll see which one works the best which one gives us the maximum flight duration and, and which one weighs the most so yeah it's interesting times ahead but I thought I'd just go through this briefly and show you the difference from an academic level to start with the difference in weight the difference in uh, suitability of different models and next thing we'll do is some practical testings and then you can decide for yourself whether you want to invest in some lithium ion batteries and one of the other reasons I got these was for the long range FPV project uh, two of these cells are going to weigh how much I think they're about 45 grams each so I'd expect about 90 grams 91 grams and I wouldn't use a big heavy XT60 I use a light JST so the plastic of the bag is probably so about 90 grams which leaves us a budget of 140 150 grams 160 grams for our sub 250 160 grams for airframe and all the rest of it I think we can get away with that at 3000 milliamps in a sub 250 model that's going to get us an awfully long way and keep us in the air for an awfully long time because the, the existing sub 250 outlaw that I've built I get nearly 20 minutes on an 850 milliamp three cell lipo so imagine we're trip we're not quite tripling say we're doubling the capacity we might get 40 minutes and that thing will fly along at a quite a comfortable 30 miles an hour so you work out how far we can go in 40 minutes I think it's about 20 miles it's a long way <laughs> anyway Thanks for watching guys questions comments to the usual place I'm keen to get some of these projects underway and if there's anything you want to know about these batteries or these batteries then ask in the comments and I will do my best to answer them I do read all the comments that I can and I do reply to the ones that seem to need an answer there you go thanks for watching guys thumbs up if you like the video big thanks to my patreon supporters and yeah I'll be back soon bye for now